Kevin, those in the final three minutes there, what uh, the, just the, the coming off the bench and the the energy that they displayed, where was that the the rest of the game? How how were you guys able to put it together there, but not for the other thirty five plus minutes of the game? Yeah, it, 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 that's a great question. You know, coming off the effort we had at Michigan State. Uh, you know, we, we really struggled coming out starting the game. We just we didn't have a whole lot of energy with that starting group. That's that's been really really good for us. Um, you know, they were good defensively, but offensively we were just we don't have the same sense of urgency on offense that we did on defense. You know, you uh, I think it was six four or six six with you know the under twelve. I mean, you're, you're at home. You got you got to score the basketball. Kevin, a couple of things. First, what sort of, how did you feel like they did on Jameer to kind of force him into what was obviously a tough night for him? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Jameer's been so so good. Um, it's tough to really critique anything that he's done, but he's he has struggled a little bit at home. Um, he's been phenomenal on the road. He struggled a little bit at home. Um, you know, I, we we missed some shots early. And he's he's one of those kids that's just gonna you know he's gonna try to correct things and you know I think they did a good job of getting in gaps playing off Jordan a little bit um, and then we you know we were struggling to score he he tried to force things a little bit too much um, and that's been a in our in our losses we've we've kind of when we've struggled to get off to good starts we've re he's kind of struggled because he's tried to push the tempo a little bit but I mean I can't. It's not negative. It's just he, he's trying. When you kind of size up both halves, like, did you feel like with all the turnovers you were able to generate in the first half that you didn't quite do enough with them and vice versa? Was it an issue where there were just a few too many turnovers there in the first maybe 10 minutes or so of the second half too? No, I mean, I think, again, when you force as many turnovers as we did, and we, we're just – we're really struggled capitalizing off our defensive intensity. And, the, and these guys are given unbelievable defensive intensity, but um, – you know, I, th we, I thought we missed a couple of early good looks from three, and then, um, you know, Drew missed two free throws, and it was kind of like, it, it's almost like we get a little tight um, on the offensive end, and then we we kind of force things a little bit, um, and that's that's that was the Michigan State game at home, and that was uh, that was tonight. Coach, it looked like that final play kind of uh, broke apart when Jameer got, got trapped there on the wing. Um, was the intent there to go they for went, a quick? They went zone. We were going to try for a quick two on a back door. And um, Jameer saw his zone, so he kind of broke it off. And then they did a good job trapping him. All right. well, that's that was good my, defense. That was my question. Uh, Kevin, just you mentioned sense of urgency. Just what do you need to do? What do they need to do to kind of? You, to impart that I, on I, them, to understand I, that. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm a little, I'm a little perplexed that we would come out at home and we have some older guys that just seem not to be, not that they weren't ready to play. Because again, defensively they gave great effort. It's just offensively we were so lackadaisical on the offensive end. Um, they're really playing hard on the defensive end. We're just, I think, we're almost a little casual on the offensive end, which really hurts us. How much are you going to discuss that in practice the next few days with a Q1 opportunity coming up against I mean, Ohio State? We're, we're off tomorrow, which is nice because, again, it's uh, Saturday, Saturday travel. And we've, we've struggled. When, you know, I got, I got to figure a, a little bit better way in this conference. You know, we, we've, we've had a home game. We've traveled. And then we've come back. And then we've traveled. And we've come back. Um, I got to figure a little better way to travel. Um, I don't know if it's spending the nights or leaving later. Um, but we haven't really come back. Uh, we didn't get that, we didn't get back that late the other night. I didn't think that was going to be a huge. I think we got back at one. You know, the other night we got back at seven. The other night before that we got back at four. You know, one o'clock's not that bad to be honest with you. I thought I didn't think we'd be that tired, but I think some of the travel has kind of worn us out a little bit. Kevin, the way they defend, is there a residual effect that really drags things down late in the game? I think you guys made four of 17 shots the last 12 minutes. Yeah, I mean, you know, their addition to Jeremiah Williams totally changes their team. I mean, it's, when I say drastic, it's drastically different watching them before 
and them now. Um, they added a piece. You, know, you add a piece 19 games in, that's a veteran guard that can score, that can defend. Um, that's, a different, that's a different basketball team from the, the first 19 games because they didn't have Jeremiah Williams. Um, but, yeah, they, I mean, they would have went to the NCAA tournament last year if Mag doesn't get hurt. He's, he's probably the best college defender I've seen in a long, long time. I mean, he covers – he blitzes pick and rolls. He switches out on pick and rolls. Um, if you get beat, he just he's there. Um, he is really. I mean, Steve's always been a great defensive coach, and he is a phenomenal defensive coach. But that defense is is mag and mag alone. I mean, that dude is he's special. You mentioned Williams. He had that la he had that late bucket where you guys did everything right defensively. He pulled that shot out. Of we didn't do everything way. right. We let him drive right down the lane and score a layup. So I think that was a major breakdown. He also had a tough step back three, and he had a great pass on the back door. Um, the last play, I mean, we we defended really well, but you you got you can't let you can't let a guy that's shooting 28 percent drive right down the lane and, and get a layup. So that was a major breakdown. Kevin, you mentioned kind of being perplexed. I think perplexed was the word you used a moment ago. The fact that the defense has been as consistent as it has been and that you aren't entirely sure what you're going to get offensively and it's 25 games in, is that combination kind of weird? Um, whereas It's frustrating. It's frustrating because, you know, you got the six, six best defense in the country, and I think, you know, after tonight, who knows where we rank offensively. But... Um, It's frustrating, to be honest. Thanks, Thank you.